So here we are, it's all over. Life goes on, no matter how you feel about the election results. But it's time for a post-mortem, and the fact that Scott Walker won puts a lot in perspective. 20 years ago when I was covering him, he was a representative from Wauwatosa, and he would talk about abortion and all the social issues, and he was known as the Bible guy. If we wanted something on those issues, we went to Scott Walker of Wauwatosa. Now he's become the governor of a, a big state and has a gold-plated campaign organization, very smooth in front of the camera with aspirations to 2016 and president, where he probably stands a good chance to compete in Iowa, where half the Republicans are Christian conservatives. What happened to Burke? Well, hindsight is 2020, but it seems to me that Burke made the same mistake Democrats made before the recall elections for the state legislative positions. They protested and they marched and they raised hell, which caused backlash. If they would have stayed home, they probably would have won those races because the rest of the state would have been sound asleep. In this case, had Burke been positive about her own agenda, laid out her plan, and had sort of a positive unified message, she would have probably gathered more independence than she did because by going negative, by having spots run that used the swastika to depict Walker's aide, Gary Ellerman, uh, it, it reminds me of a 1980 when people that supported Jimmy Carter attacked Ronald Reagan for being endorsed by the Klan. And they went to Reagan and he goes, well, I'm just sad. When a known entity is attacked by an unknown entity, it often backfires. When you're a known entity and you attack an unknown entity, it can work. But in this case, if Burke would have just stayed positive, her own base would have still been her base. They still would have been anti-Walker. But Democrats often, and also true with the Republicans, they can't resist attacking, attacking, attacking. And if there's a, a, a post-mortem criticism of Burke, it was that. She couldn't let sleepy dogs lie to keep her eyes on the prize. By going to the dark side, it might have cost her valuable votes from independents. And that's my two cents. My two minutes brought to you by Babe Sports Grill, Capital Consultants, Edge Construction, Greenbush Bakery, and Weedman. Terry Kurth, he will notice how to get your lawn looking just like a golf course. They have uh, all that experience and will continue to make the grass even greener next spring. We'll see you next time.